Hi, my name is Kelly Powers and I'm a registered dietitian and culinary nutritionist. I create simple and delicious recipes inspired by the Mediterranean diet that are really quick and easy to make. I'm super excited to have partnered with Maui Salmon today to bring you one of my all-time favorite dinner recipes. We're going to be making salmon in papio. Now, if you don't know what that means, do not worry. It's a super simple French cooking technique that essentially means we're going to be steaming our fish and our vegetables in a paper packet or a paper pocket. We'll be using parchment paper for that and I will be showing you all the steps in the process so you will feel confident and ready to go in no time. Today I'm going to be using a nice herb butter Atlantic salmon fillet from Maui. You can really do this with any type of fish, halibut, cod work well. The reason why I chose this is because I love salmon. I think it's a really nice weeknight dinner. And this garlic butter puck here is really going to cut down on our prep time. Because of that, we don't have to worry about seasoning our fish, marinating our fish, really anything at all. We can pull this from the fridge, pick it up at the store, prep what we need, put this on top, and we'll have a beautiful weeknight dinner. A really really nice piece of fish that's healthy, nutritious, and delicious in 12 to 15 minutes. So we'll get started in just a second. I think it's really important to note, turn your oven on, 350 is what we're going to be cooking at, and we're going to get started with our rice. It's going to take the longest to cook. We're going to serve our fish with a really nice side salad and some beautiful black rice. We can get started with the star of our show, our fish and papio and our beautiful Maui salmon dish. So it's, again, very easy. We're going to go ahead and just prep a couple things so then we can assemble. We'll start with our squash that's going to be the base and then we're going to put our fish on top we're going to add just a couple things to help it steam and then we're going to put it into roll it into a pocket and pop it in the oven it's really that simple so i'm going to start by prepping my squash in my zucchini and i put a little trash bowl here or a compost bowl it's really helpful when you're cooking you don't have to keep going back to the trash throw things in the garbage and it takes up less space so i'm going to be cutting these into wheels about a quarter of an inch thick or so you just want them to be able to steam or to cook in the time that the fish cook. And so, as I mentioned previously, we'll probably have the fish in the oven anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. It really depends on your desired doneness. I opt for things being a little medium, medium rare, so I'm probably gonna pull it to check it around the 12 minute mark. You can do whatever you like or whatever works for you. But by ensuring we cut these wheels fairly thin, we'll make sure that they do fully cook, but not get soggy. We want them to be a little al dente still and have somewhat of a bite. So I'm just going to keep slicing my squash here. We'll set it aside, do the zucchini, and then we will carry on. Okay. So I just bought a plate here to set that out of the way. And this is really nice because we'll have a lot of color. We'll have a lot of variety on our plate. I don't know about you. I eat with my eyes. I really like plate, a beautiful dish for myself when I'm cooking for other people as well too. So this will allow for you to do that really without thinking about it. I'm going to just do the same, same size wheels for my zucchini here. If you only have zucchini, use all zucchini. If you only have squash, use all squash. Fennel is really nice with it as well. We're going to reserve that fennel for our salad. Keep it raw. If you do do that onion, onion works nice too or shallot. If you do onion, fennel, shallots, you're just going to want to slice them a little bit thinner. They're a little more fibrous and they're going to take, especially the, the fennel, a little bit longer to cook. You could use eggplant here. You could do tomato slices. Really whatever is available you have on hand or in season. Again, this is just a really great cooking technique that I hope you take with you or you add to your repertoire of recipes and really easy staple weeknight dinners. So we're all set with our squash. I'm going to go ahead and set this as Side. And then we will actually get started with our paper pocket or packet or our poppy out. So I am going to just grab a cutting board, or I'm sorry, a sheet tray here, put it on top of my cutting board and use it as my work surface. So it can just go directly in the oven. I don't have to pick up the pocket when, when it's ready. It's gonna have a little bit of liquid in it and a little weight to it. So if you can have a stable working area or space that you're then gonna just transfer. I love these sheets, these baking sheets. They're pre-cut. If you use parchment paper at all, you may know how challenging it can be to cut the size that you want or to cut a straight line or to even really cut it at all. So I pick up sheets. You can use regular like parchment paper and just cut it with a pair of scissors. You're going to want to have about two even sized sheets. 
to build your pocket, which you'll see. So I'm just going to now layer my wash and my zucchini here on my parchment paper. So what we're gonna do or what we're aiming for is to have a base that's gonna be about the size of our fish fillet. If not, just a little bit larger. So our fish can easily rest right on top of it. So I'm gonna go with the larger wash first and just create a nice layer. We'll do three rows here, just kind of peeking out to finding the, the good ones for our foundation. Do one more, okay. And we do wanna keep this in the middle of our parchment sheet, just because again, we're gonna be holding in the sides to create a pocket, so that will help with that. Next, we're going to simply add our zucchini. So again, we'll do another layer, another row. We can do it in between, just for ease. And you can put as much or as little as you'd like. There will be some room, you'll see, as we fold it up. We are also serving this with a nice side salad, so I'm not too, too worried about packing in all of our vegetables here, because we are gonna have another component to our dish, really. Okay, so that looks great. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's all going in together. It's all gonna come out together really beautiful. The presentation will be nice. Don't stress about it. Put some music on. If you're of age, maybe have a glass of wine. Relax, enjoy. This is really a great form of self-care and a time for you to take care of you and possibly those you love. So enjoy, have fun with it. Next, all we're gonna do is cut open our salmon. So I'm going to just move this here and open up this right here. Careful with your knife. It opens very easily, which is great. Packaging is nice and thin and it makes it super accessible. So I just want to pull my salmon out. Again, you'll see how quick and easy this is going to be because of this nice marinade. So look at that, beautiful. We're just gonna pop that right there on top. Move this out of the way. Grab the towel to wipe our hands. And then we are gonna season it a little bit. I don't know about you, but I do have a pretty seasoned palette. So I'm gonna wanna add a little bit of salt. But that is fine, it's not going to take too long. Let's just go ahead and season it here. I use kosher salt, you can use whatever salt you have on hand. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of pepper. One thing someone once taught me or shared with me, and it was very interesting, or very helpful, I would say, is that salt enhances flavor and pepper changes flavors. So I am a little reserved with my pepper when I do put it on. It's just a little thing to remember, but we're good with that. I'm gonna just grab one more knife. We're gonna add some lemon slices. We'll use the rest of this lemon for lemon juice for our salad dressing. So it's really nice too to repurpose ingredients, keep your shopping list low, your food costs low, food waste down. So really kind of try to think through those things if you can as you are building out a recipe or a plate a menu it's nice to repurpose what you can so we will simply add a couple of lemon slices here we just want to remove the seeds perfect so we'll just add that on like so awesome this is really coming together nicely we are now going to add just a splash of vegetable broth here just to create a nice steam to give it some liquid. Again, this butter puck, this garlic herb butter puck is gonna create a ton of flavor and a nice liquid as well as it melts. But I just wanna make sure as that gets going, there's another liquid in here just to kind of help bring everything together. So we don't need too much because of that garlic puck, butter puck. We're just gonna probably do one, two tablespoon pop, closer to one probably. So we'll set that aside. And then we're going to grab our second sheet of parchment paper. This is kind of fun. It's fun to do with kids. If you have them, if you're cooking together. This is also a really fun date night meal because it doesn't require a ton of cooking, of stove pot cooking. It doesn't make a huge mess, as you'll see. Everything is gonna be done in this pocket. And then we just open it up. Presentation is lovely. And then we toss it. So it's really, really nice. It cooks super quick. It's really practical. It's great for a weeknight. And all we're gonna do is fold in the edges. So we'll do two to three folds per side. I'm gonna start with two. I'm gonna to turn it do two 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 just so that way we know we have enough paper to fold each side and then if we have excess we'll fold it again Now 
that our fish is in the oven, our rice is going, we can shift gears, focus our attention on our salad. We're gonna be making a very simple side salad. You can even keep this just to greens in a nice light olive oil based vinaigrette, which I'll show you how to make in just a second. Three ingredients, phenomenal. I'm gonna add some fennel here, love it, great Mediterranean vegetable, and then we're gonna do some orange slices or segments as well. So I'm just gonna simply slice the end off and then slice this really thin. You can use a microplane if you have one. So I am simply just cutting very thin slices with my knife. Use as much or as little as you'd like. It has a nice, like kind of mild licorice flavor. I really enjoy it. I eat it raw on its own, but you can do whatever pleases you. Okay, so I'm gonna toss this aside, take out like the core pieces basically, if there are any, especially if they are a little thicker. They're also fine to eat. They're great to cook if you're ever gonna braise fennel, kind of cook them down that way, um, but we're not right now. So I'm just gonna keep thin slices here. We're just gonna add this to our greens. I simply have greens that were pre-washed and ready to go from the market, which is great for a weeknight. Removing as many barriers of entry to healthy eating is really my specialty and what I enjoy doing, what I do with my clients. So finding ways to get vegetables in without having to be in the kitchen all day is really nice. So we have our fennel there. You can also add these beautiful little pieces as well. You can add some of the fronds, the top part if you'd like. I'm going to set this aside. We're done with that and we're going to slice an orange. So super simple, nothing to be intimidated by. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's very quick, very easy. This is how you get those nice wheels that you'll often see in restaurants. So you always want a flat surface, top, bottom. We're then gonna take the knife and just kind of go alongside the edge of the orange here. And we're gonna do that all the way around. Watch your fingers. And we're just gonna flip it on its side and cut little wheels. It's really that simple, but it makes for a very nice presentation. And then we'll just pop out the seeds, place them on the salad in a minute. We're gonna set them aside for a second and we're gonna dress our salad first. And then we'll add the oranges on top. You can also pop out the middle piece and then we will go ahead and put this in our trash bucket. I'm gonna hold on to the ends because I'm gonna add them to the salad dressing. We'll do the same with the second orange. So you'll see it's very easy. You can get very quick with it. And it's just a really nice way to prepare and present your citrus. Okay, this one had a lot less seeds, which is great. I can smell our fish. It's coming together very nicely in there, I'm sure. Okay, so again, removing the outside parts and our oranges are good to go. We're gonna make a super simple dressing. So three ingredients. We're gonna start with some orange juice. You can also do lemon here. It's really nice. You can do a blend of the two. You can use what you have on hand. This again is just reducing food waste and we're repurposing our excess. Okay, so we have our orange juice. Again, lemon, totally fine. We'll probably do a little bit as well just to have a nice acidic punch or bite. Next, we're gonna add just some high quality olive oil. There we go. And then we'll finish it off with some salt. A couple pinches. I like making a dressing in a small little mason jar like this because you can just close it up and give it a nice shake and it emulsify as well. Um, you can also do it in a bowl with a spoon, whatever works. So the reason why is because I wanted to dress the salad first. This is the oranges are heavy and they'll weigh down a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of set them off to the side, but I do want a nice, well-mixed salad. So we'll dress that actually in just a second. I want to check on the fish and the rice. So let's do that. So you can see here the rice is nice and fluffy. So we can now set this aside. I'm actually gonna grab a tiny little plate for to get them out of the way. And I can show you our beautiful fish and poppy oil. Okay, now we have a nice flat surface that's gonna be fine with the heat. Okay. So you can slice this to open it up. You can also pull it from the side. If you do pull it from the side, just be cautious. All of the steam is gonna come out, so you might burn your fingers. So if you can, take a knife and just give it a nice cut across the top to release some of that steam, and then go ahead and pull it back. You really can't do this wrong. Oh yeah. So you'll see we have beautifully cooked 
vegetables at the bottom here. We have our nice herb butter, kind of emulsified with all of the different flavors and things here. Some of it's on the vegetables, some of it's on the fish. It's really gonna make a nice kind of pan sauce without using a pan. So we're good to go here. Our fish is gonna be nice and flaky. I can tell that it's cooked perfectly. So I don't wanna mess it up too much. I wanna keep it nice for presentation. And I'm gonna just transfer it to a platter here. So we'll move this out of the way. So again, be careful. This is a hot dish, but it's so nice because you just pick it up, transfer it over. We have that beautifully plated right there. We're just gonna move this back to the stove top and then we'll finish off our salad here. So give this a quick little shake again and then we'll just drizzle it over our greens and our fennel. You can taste it before I've made this dressing many, many times. So I feel confident in the flavor profile it's gonna have and the amount of salt and acid. So I'm just gonna use my hands, they're clean. I wash them just to kind of toss things around. I really do like to cook with my hands. And so just kind of thoroughly or evenly mix everything. Again, you really can't mess up. So that's pretty lightly coated. Dry my hands off here. We have our fennel, our beautiful greens, and then we're going to just set up our orange peels around our dish or around our salad. That's beautiful, just like that. So we have our lovely little side salad here. We have our beautiful black rice and we have our exceptional salmon and poppy oat with the Maui salmon, Atlantic salmon filet with the garlic butter puck, which is really lovely. It's gonna have a ton of flavor. You can plate this up with all the components of the dish or of the meal on one plate. Grab some of that sauce at the bottom and drizzle it on top. Put some on your rice if you'd like and enjoy. Bon appetito.